today we will see about soft palate soft palate we will see the introduction introduction of the soft palate it is the movable muscular fold it is movable muscular fold it is a movable muscular fold suspended from the posterior border of the hard palate it is the movable muscular fold suspended suspended behind the suspended behind the hard palate behind the hard palate it is the movable muscular fold it is the movable muscular fold suspended behind the hard palate it is present between the oropharynx and laryngopharynx it is the it is it is present this movable muscular fold is between the oropharynx below nasopharynx above hence it regulates hence it suppresses the nasopharynx and laryngopharynx and hence it is looked upon it is present between the nasopharynx nasopharynx and laryngopharynx oropharynx it is present between the hence it is looked upon it is called as it is popularly known as traffic controller traffic controller traffic controller which controls the food passage food food passage as well as air passage it is a traffic act as a traffic controller which regulates the food passage and air passage hence muscular fold movable muscular fold between the oropharynx as well as nasopharynx well first i will explain you then i will show the diagrammatic features diagrammatically i will first i will explain i will give the introduction first i will give the background then i will go for the then we will switch on to the diagrammatic explanation now the features what are the features it has the two surfaces two surfaces two borders the anterior surface two surfaces anterior surface posterior surface two borders it has two borders that is the superior border inferior border superior and inferior border two surfaces anterior surface posterior surface two surface two borders well now we'll see about the anterior surface of the soft palate 
anterior surface of the soft palate is a concave anterior surface is concave anterior surface is concave marked by the median rafe marked by the median rafe marked by median rafe median rafe it is bulk it is very much voluminous it is bulk due to the numerous mucous gland the anterior surface is concave marked by the median rafe it is bulk and voluminous in the size due to the presence of as it contains mucous glands mucous glands secretes mucus mucous glands secretes mucus present on this surface present on this surface it is a concave in shape present by the marked median rafe it is a voluminous large in size due to the plenty due to the plenty mucous glands which secretes mucus now we'll switch on to the posterior surface posterior surface is convex posterior surface is convex and superiorly it is with the superiorly related to the nasal cavity superiorly it is related to the nasal cavity superiorly it is related to the floor of the floor of the nasal cavity superiorly this posterior surface is a convex superiorly related to the floor of the nasal cavity well now we'll see about the borders that is the superior border and inferior border superior border attached to the posterior part of the hard palate superior border attached to the hard palate isn't it it is the hard palate it is the soft palate i will explain you later on superior border attached to the it is superior hard palate it is the hard palate and inferior border is free inferior border is free mobile free and mobile inferior border is free and mobile and it related to the pharyngeal isthmus it related to the pharyngeal isthmus it has got two folds anterior fold and posterior it has got two folds one is the anterior fold and posterior fold posterior fold and there is a in between there is a one projection in between there is a one projection called as musculus ullus it has got the two folds anterior fold is palato glossal fold palato pharyngeal fold palato pharyngeal fold posteriorly palato glossal fold palato glossal fold it is related to the pharyngeal part pharyngeal part and there is a one projection muscular projection which has got the muscle called musculus ulla it is called as ulla ulla see here this posterior surface is freely mobile related to the pharyngeal isthmus pharynx 
here two force are there two mucosal force one anteriorly palatopharyngeal force posteriorly palatoglossal folds and between that in between that there is a projection muscular projection called as muscula muscularis ulla or ulla which contains the muscle called muscularis ulla and it and it forms the lateral wall of the pharynx lateral wall of the pharynx inferior border is a mobile related to the pharynx it has got the two parts it has got the two folds rather palatopharyngeal fold palatoglossal fold palatopharyngeal fold and palatoglossal fold palato glossal fold see here what i told you it is the hard palate it is the soft palate soft palate is the muscular moveable soft palate is the muscular moveable fold it is the hard palate superiorly it related to the hard palate inferiorly it is the inferior border is mobile is a mobile related to the pharynx here see you can nicely see here it is the superior it is anterior surface related to the median rafe median rafe and there is a posterior surface posterior surface related see here it is a posterior border it has got the two folds palatoglossal arch is here palatoglossal arch can be seen here palatoglossal arch palato it is one more is inferior to the anterior to this palato anterior fold is palatoglossal fold it is a palatoglossal fold palatopharyngeal fold two folds are here it is a palatopharyngeal fold palatoglossal medially medially there is a some projection ulla is contains the muscle called muscularis ulla it is the inferior border inferior border of the palate it is the superior border of the palate inferior border of the palate you can see here two folds can be seen here palatoglossal fold and palate anterior to this palatopharyngeal fold between these two fold there is a palatine tonsil between these two folds you can see the palatine tonsil can be seen here posteriorly palatoglossus anteriorly palatoglossal fold muscularis ulla which is anterior surface of the soft palate inferior border is a free border you can see here we will see here next we will see we can see the muscles here the muscles muscles are here that is the levator palatine muscle and tensor palatine muscle the tensor palatine muscle will form on either side form a flattened tendon called aponeurosis of the soft palate it is aponeurosis aponeurosis of the soft palate that is the tensor palatine muscle tensor palatine muscle it is the pterygoid humerus and and this the levator palatine muscle is here levator palatine muscle comes from the pectus part of the temporal bone levator palatine muscle comes from the pectus part of the temporal bone and carotid sheath and inferior surface of the auditory tube levator palatine and the tensor palatine will form the lateral side of the auditory tube lateral side of the auditory tube you can see here auditory tube auditory tube see here tensor palatine on either side will join will join the form the aponeurosis called as palatine aponeurosis on this levator palatine muscle will come and join here levator palatine muscle will come from the inferior surface of the pectus part of the temporal bone and upper part of the carotid sheath and inferior surface of the auditory tube levator palatine and tensor palatine will come from the lateral surface of the auditory tube and medial surface of the spine of the sphenoid medial surface of the spine of the sphenoid it will come and 
it will form a aponeurosis palatine aponeurosis means flatten tend down now we will come to the palatoglossus muscle then sorry then musculus ullus musculus ullus is here in between that it arises from the posterior nasal spine oral surface of the palatine aponeurosis there is a center there is a muscle then there is a palatoglossus muscle palatoglossus muscle from the oral surface of the palate and aponeurosis it is a palatoglossus muscle palate to the glossus glossus means tongue it comes to the tongue palate to the tongue palatoglossus muscle oral surface of the palate and aponeurosis arises now palatopharyngeus see here palatopharyngeus palatopharyngeus forms from the anterior border of the hard palate it comes from the anterior it has got the two fasciculus it has got the two fibers two bundles palatopharyngeus has two bundles anterior bundle and posterior bundle anterior bundle from the hard palate posterior bundle from the palate and aponeurosis these are the palatopharyngeus muscle palatopharyngeus muscle once again i repeat here see there is a it is a ulna isn't it it is the inferior concha is the nasal part is the lateral wall of the nose on either side you can see lateral wall of the nose can be seen here levator palate muscle is here it is the palate and aponeurosis palate and aponeurosis and the pseudo membrane which is a part of the palatoglossus morphologically morphologically it is a part of palatopharyngeus muscle if it does not descend along with the larynx it is a morphologically it is a part and parcel of the palatopharyngeus muscle you can see here these are the muscles palatopharyngeus muscle once again i repeat tensor fasciculi arise from the scaphoid fossa scaphoid fossa lateral side of the tensor fasciculi tensor fasciculi and the levator fasciculi isn't it tensor fasciculi on either side forms aponeurosis flat and aponeurosis and the tensor palatine arises from the lat scaphoid fossa lateral side of the auditory tube and spine of the sphenoid medial side of the sphenoid levator scap levator palatine levator palatine arises from the inferior surface of the inferior surface of the pectus part of the temporal bone then musculus ullus musculus ullus arises from the posterior nasal spine and palatine and aponeurosis palatine aponeurosis and the palatopharyngeus muscle it has got two fibers anterior fibers from the posterior part of the hard palate posterior fiber from the palate and aponeurosis and the palatoglossus tongue to palate these are the five muscles these are the five muscles tensor palatine what happens function we will see the functions of the tensor palatine it tightens it tightens chiefly the anterior part and opens the auditory tube tensor palatine tensor palatine it will what will happen it tightens chiefly the anterior part and opens the auditory tube and it equalizes it equalizes the pressure between the pressure between the middle ear and nose it has three functions tensor palatine tightens the soft palate opens the auditory tube opens the auditory tube and equalize the pressure between the middle ear and nose three functions now the levator palatine elevate name itself is indicate elevates it elevates the soft palate is a name function is self indicator it elevates the soft palate close the pharyngeal isthmus and opens the auditory tube this also opens the auditory tube by elevating the pharynx and the musculus ullus it pulls the ulna this musculus pulls the ulna pulls the ulna then palatoglossus palatoglossus this close the oropharyngeus close the oropharyngeal isthmus palato and palatopharyngeus it palatopharyngeus it pulls the wall of the pharynx it pulls the wall of the pharynx shortens the during swallowing shortens during the swallowing once again i repeat here 
the functions yes we have seen the muscles once again i repeat the muscle that is the tensor palliative tensor palliative on either side it will come and form the aponeurosis on either side tensor palliative tp form the aponeurosis is that it one more muscle is here one muscle is that is the levator palliative that is the one more muscle levator palliative two muscles are here it is the one more muscle is musculus ulnaris and one is the see two muscles below two muscles above that is the tensor palliative tensor palliative levator palliative it is the musculus ulnaris musculus ulna ulna it is the palato pharyngeus palato pharyngeus it is the palato glossus palato glossus means tongue see here these are the levator this tensor will form join together forms a aponeurosis forms a platen tendon and there is a middle there is a musculus ulnaris on either side the palato glossus palato pharyngeus this palato pharyngeus has got the two bundles two fasciculus means two bundles anterior fasciculus posterior fasciculus two fasciculus posterior fasciculus they will pull the pharynx shortens during the deglutition two function two fibers anterior fibers and posterior fibers it is regarding the elevate name itself indicates elevate these two muscles these two upper muscles will open the auditory tube open the auditory tube to maintain the equilibrium of the air pressure these two levator palliate tensor palliate will open both will open the auditory tube auditory tube to maintain the equilibrium pressure to maintain the equilibrium pressure this palliative pharyngeus will narrate to means uh, that is the narrows the narrows during the deglutition and during the phonation these are the these two muscle will help in the narrowing and dilating the pharynx during the deglutition and the speech these are the muscles once again i write here once again i write the muscles above to below to center one easy to remember na above to below to center one one is the tensor palliative tensor palliative also called as tensor villi palliative also called tensor villi palatine also called tensor villi palatine number 1 name itself indicates it will shorten the palate doesn't it it keeps the sharp palate intense shorten the palate opens the auditory tube levator it levates the papillae levates the uh, levator palate it elevates the palate and opens the auditory both will open the auditory tube then musculus ulnaris musculus ulna well now palato pharyngeus palato pharyngeus which has two types of fibers one will one will narrows one will dilate the pharynx and last but not least palato glossus related to tongue palato glossus we have seen the functions we have seen the origin also now the nerve supply very important all the muscles the exception is there in the head and neck there are five exceptions regarding the tongue regarding the pharynx 
regarding the trachea sorry in the larynx and the palate total five exceptions here is also one exception here is also one exception that is all the muscles all the muscles of the soft palate all the muscles of the soft palate are supplied by the yes pharyngeal plexus pharyngeal plexus pharyngeal plexus that is formed by the accessory that is the cn11 cn11 through cn10 cn11 is accessory nerve cn10 is vagus nerve it forms a plexus from this plexus all the muscles are supplied except except tensor palati tensor tensor palati which is supplied by the mandibular nerve mandibular nerve which is the nerve of the first arch nerve of the first pharyngeal arch through the through the mandibular nerve through the branch of the medial pterygoid through the branch of the medial pterygoid medial pterygoid branch medial pterygoid branch of mandibular nerve supplies to the tensor palati it is the exception because development of tensor palati from the first pharyngeal arch you know nerve to first pharyngeal arch i have told you once again i repeat nerve to first pharyngeal arch is mandibular nerve facial nerve third is glossopharyngeal then fourth is superior laryngeal recurrent laryngeal isn't it mandibular nerve facial nerve first arch first arch mandibular second arch facial nerve third arch fourth fourth is superior recurrent laryngeal superior recurrent laryngeal fourth arch no fifth sixth arch sixth arch you know it superior laryngeal nerve recurrent laryngeal nerve or branch of the vagus nerve these are branches of the vagus nerve has to be known fourth and fifth arch are supplied by the vagus nerve superior laryngeal nerve recurrent laryngeal nerve you know m f g s r mnemonics can be made here मोहम्मद फारूक गयासुद्दीन सीनियर यम मोहम्मद फारूक गयासुद्दीन सीनियर दिस निमोनिक कैन बी इजी टू रिमेम्बर जट इट यम फॉर मोहम्मद यफ फॉर फारूक गयासुद्दीन सीनियर फर्स्ट आर सेकेंड आर थर्ड आर सिक्स आर दिस कैन बी रिमेम्बर दिस टेंसर पैलिटी इज सप्लाइड बाय द मैंडिबुलर नर बिकॉज डेवलपमेंटली it is from the first arch these are the exceptions i will whatsapp you the all the exceptions i will send you there are five exceptions in the head and neck i will mail you now we'll see about the blood supply blood supply is the that is blood supply blood supply of the nerve greater palatine artery ascending pharyngeal greater palatine artery ascending pharyngeal ascending pharyngeal now palatine 
greater palatine is from the maxillary artery maxillary artery ascending pharyngeal from the facial artery palatine from the ascending pharyngeal greater palatine artery branch of the maxillary artery ascending pharyngeal artery is a branch of facial artery facial artery palatine is a branch of ascending pharyngeal artery this we have to know maxillary artery and facial artery are branch of external carotid artery greater palatine artery ascending palatine artery are branch of the maxillary ascending palatine greater palatine artery is a branch of maxillary artery ascending palatine artery is a facial artery and these both are branch of external carotid artery palatine is a branch of ascending palatine artery now the venous drainage the venous drainage of the soft palate venous drainage of the soft palate pterygoid venous drainage venous drainage from the pterygoid pterygoid venous plexus venous pterygoid venous plexus the tonsillar venous plexus pterygoid and tonsillar venous plexus pterygoid and tonsillar venous plexus this now the lymphatic drainage lymphatic drainage of deep cervical retropharyngeal lymphatic drainage lymphatic drainage from the deep cervical and retropharyngeal retro retropharyngeal from the retropharyngeal these are the venous drainage now we will go to the nerve supply nerve supply as I told you once again the motor motor nerve all the muscle all the muscle of SP means soft palate supplied by pharyngeal plexus pharyngeal plexus 